done uh, dr satpri you will uh, start the meeting officially so shall i shall i play the video dr sir Shall I repeat again this video, Doctor? No, no. It's already two thirty-six. We can start now, yeah. Yes, sir. It's one twenty-seven participants are there. We can start, sir. Okay. Okay, Doctor yes, Sastri, I, I request you to start the program. Okay. So, welcome all participants. I also welcome Doctor Guy Delham, animal reproduction specialist from IMV. I also welcome. Mr. Dagri and his team, IMV team. Today's international webinar is organized by IMV India Limited. This is our Indian Society for Study of Animal Reproduction, Maharashtra chapter, and Maharashtra Animal Fishery Science University, Nagpur. Generally, in non-infectious causes of repeat breeding in cows and buffaloes, faulty artificial insemination practices is one of the major reason. and inefficiency in performing proper ai in cows and buffaloes commonly lead to trauma to uterine tract contributing repeat breeding syndrome if some endoscope like equipment are available for proper guiding the 
artificial insemination gun while crossing the cervical barrier in cows and buffaloes it will be very grateful help for inseminator to locate the exact position and site of deposition of semen during performing artificial insemination in reproductive tract thereby conception rate can be improved considerably generally the hemi development uh, equipment it will help in the training particularly artificial insemination training at the uh, institute level particularly every art, uh, reproductive uh, reproduction department require this equipments for train their annual year gynecology students for doing proper ai because till in the field condition ai is only 30% and we have to improve it up to 60% so looking to this uh, with this aim our today's webinar is organized on the topic of alpha vision a video topic video optic tool to improve the reproductive efficiency of cattle herd and this our today's distinguished speaker is dr guy delholm i th i welcome mr guy, uh, guy delholm and also thankful to him for providing us this uh, today's topic and uh, now i request dr giri sir to start with the introduction yeah thank you dr satpure thank you for this uh, opportunity to provide us a very wonderful platform of ISSS AR and uh, uh, Nagpur Veterinary University. So jointly we are uh, getting this opportunity to give, uh, utilize this platform. So first of all, I would like to request uh, in, invite uh, E. Delhom, who uh, a brief introduction of E. Delhom is that he is a very soft speaking, soft, gentle guy down to earth, and he has a contribution to IMB India more than. 35 years and his expertise is versatile and he have a plethora of knowledge of reproduction biotechnology and best part of that is 19 in 1963 this company was formed by the owner first owner of uh, named robert kasu and he is the person who has worked with robert kasu as a team so he is very uh, very uh, versatile and having exposure in the different species all the species he can handle so we as colleague we call him that mr seaman so he can handle any animal any species from fish to you can say uh, fish to wildlife animals also so uh, most of the people you may be knowing him who are related with the with this field because he is time to time available in india neighboring countries and other part of the globe for the training in the live uh, handling the live animal for the semen processing and other activities other related activities so i welcome gee delhom uh, gee this forum is to you now uh, you are welcome gee okay thank you very much um, giri uh, i like to, uh, thanks as well uh, dr sarapuri and dr patil you know from uh, uh, nagpur university and from isar who are welcoming us uh, today on this uh, webinar so we are going to speak about um, alpha vision so giri giri when you want to put the slide on it'll be okay So we have uh, designed a, a tool, you know, uh, we're going to show you uh, to improve the efficiency in cattle herd. So, second slide, please. So, what is the aim exactly? Uh, just one before. Just one, one before. Okay. The, the, what is the aim in the bovine? You know, uh, the, in in Europe anyway is to produce at least one calf per cow per year. You know? And for that, you know, the breeder has to do two two main things. You know, to make sure that you have a high ratio of cows are able to breed. You know, those cows it must be either in a you must have check on them if uh, you get a good estrus detection. You know? which is not the case often or they could be done by a uh, synchronization you know uh, but most of the cases is uh, by the detection and as well uh, you must have a high fecundity ratio you know? that means that you must deliver the best quantity optimum quantity of sperm cells you know to the oviduct and uh, you must have a good fertilization and a good management of uh, checking the pregnancy after ai 
Okay, next one. Giri, next one. Hello, Giri. Giri, sir, next slide. Giri, next one. Okay, here yeah, you get a, a nice, uh, a good, healthy uh, uh, anatomy track, you know, from cow. Where you can see the vagina, you can see the cervix with the three folds there, and then the, the short uterine body, and then after that, uh, the two, two horns with the corpus atheum on one ovary on the left hand side. You know. uh, on the right picture, you see the, the way the uh, today how an AI technician is handling uh, cervix, you know, uh, by putting his hand into the rectum and then to trying to find the way to get in uh, in the middle of the, the cervix to get, to get, and it's not easy all the time, you know. Next one. So the, the, the thing, the very importance of success is to AI at the right time, you know. Often, you know, uh, the farmer, they were uh, having some trouble because the, the AI technician is not coming at the right time. So they decided to do their own, uh, their own AI, you know. And uh, that's where, they, as well, they have uh, some succeed or some, as well, some failure, you know. So the, the main thing is to really AI, you know, we say between eight to 16 hours after the peak of activity of showing us you know. Uh, so what happened, what happened if you look on the, on the right part of the picture, if you are AI too early, you know, you will have a limited number of sperm coming to meet the other side, you know, but you will have a high quality embryo. In the opposite, if you AI too late, you know, you have uh, an oversight with getting old and not as fertile, you know, uh, but you will have a better uh, fertilization rate. So it's in between this 18, 16 hours, you know, gap, you must do the insemination. Next. What are the, the main causes of uh, anustrus? You know, what, kind, what, kind of, what could be the main problem, you know. The first one, of course, is pregnancy. If the cow is pregnant, you don't see the anestrus. That's why you must check if your cow is with a ultrasound uh, or by palpation, they are, they are pregnant first, you know. Then you have the presence of, um, of a calf, you know, on the calf, when you, uh, especially on beef cattle, when the calf is suckling, you know. And as well, you have other like uh, pathology, stress, you know, nutrition, food, you know, uh, and season as well. Even cows are kind of seasonal, you know. Uh, you must have, or what we start to, we try to have here in, in Europe is to have, um, uh, during the interval between calving and first estrus, at least over 75% of the cows choose those shine of estrus, you know, within the 60 days of uh, postpartum. And the interval calving first fertile AI should be for 70% of the cows within the 90 days postpartum. This is uh, the, the figures we, 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 you must get you. Uh, other than that, you will lose some money or you will not produce enough milk or you will not have your one calf per year per cow. Next one. So what are the main causes? You know, maybe you have some, uh, you could have some fat cows, you know, because uh, the cows are not dry. Or they are left with the dry cows, you know, uh, with a, and uh, those cows are with the milkers, and they, they eat too much, you know. Uh, so what what happens if you have a, a fat cow? We have uh, some difficulty uh, for the birth, you know, because you may have a heavy calf. Uh, as well, you may have some retin placenta. You know, you we could have so often some milk fever, and then it could go on and. Uh, get some matritis, you know, I mean, commonly, and uh, and that delay the onset of heat of estrus. You know. Next one, we'll speak about the next one, Gary, please. Next one, Gary. Gary, sir, next slide, please. Okay. 
up the one before. Yes. So if you have a teen cow in the other in the side, so maybe the these cows are they don't get enough feeding. Maybe it's a, she has problem with parasite. You know. Uh, anyway, uh, the first dominant follicle will only only ovulate in twenty five percent of the case, so that's not good. You know. And as well, what could happen that you get a dominant follicle will could become schistic, so you will not have you not show a sign of estrus. You know. So you get, uh, you may have as well on these cows, you know, teen cows are eating placenta after birth, you know, and of course they are under production and they don't show uh, really uh, um, an estrus. So the, our parameters in Europe, you know, uh, really what you're looking for, for, it depends if you're in milk production or in beef production, but uh, in milk production, we, we, we want to have a 12 to 13 months calving interval, calving to calving, you know, beef is 12 months. The interval between calving and fertility is uh, uh, less than 15% after 120 days, you know. Uh, fertility of first AI, at least in cows, in milk, uh, should be uh, uh, above 40 you know, percent, you know, sure. And in beef, above 50 percent. You know. uh, and after three AI, you know, you should have less than 15 percent of the cows not pregnant, you know. For the beef, it's mainly 70, you need to have at least 70% of the cows pregnant during the middle of the season, reproductive season. You know. And for the number of, of AI per pregnant cow, it varies from 1.7 to 2.4, 2.5, you know, for the milk breed, and if it's 1.5 to 2 for the beef. And you must cool every year about uh, less than 6% of the cows for the uh, infertility problem. Next one. For the heifers, uh, so the heifers, uh, you sh she should be uh, fully cycled at 50 months old, you know, and 95% uh, of them anyway, you know. They must have uh, at least 60% of their adult weight, you know, uh, at, uh, at first AI. And uh, they must have a daily gain of 700 grams per day, you know, and to just to aim a calving at 24 months old. With a fatigue rate quite high with the FR, always, you know, it's 60 to 65 percent, even more. Next one. So infertility, you know, it's a multi-factor, you know, so you could have a factor from the individual, from the cows, it could be a factor from the management, from the farm, you know. Uh, anyway, you know, on individual, you know, you, with, you could help, the Alpha Vision will help you, you know, uh, for, for the calving, uh, the calving exception interval, you know. Uh, here you can check after, uh, after calving if the, 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 the cervix or the uterus is come back to place, you know. You know. Uh, in the management, you know, of course, you have, uh, the, the right estrus detection is very important and the timing of AI as well, you know. Um, as well, uh, that we could help you, the alpha vision on the sanitary status to check before you do AI, you know, check if your uh, carose is clean and there's no, no issue with the tractus. You know. Next one. Okay, this is a tool, you know, it comes in a suitcase like that, you know, and uh, so I uh, will show you in my office there, I have the, the, the box here, you will see here the, 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 the case, uh, everything is going inside, you know, and to have inside um, the, the alpha vision itself, you know, which is like that. You know, this is on it, you have a speculum here, you know, which is fitting in there. So you have, you have, you have two, two of them in the, in the suitcase. So, so if you want uh, to do, people want to do one cow, then if you don't have time to wash it, you can use the next one, clean one, you know, okay. So this is a link inside here. You have inside here, you have a camera, you know, with a, with a the light, you know, and this is linked here, you know, to here, to a, a mobile phone. You can see the, the mobile phone is there, you know, on, on my screen here. 
you know, and I can I can show I can see it what what I do when I go inside the cow, and then I put my spectrum on it, and inside here I will introduce the um, AI gun. So I have here I have an AI gun. See, I just put the straw inside. I cut the straw with a stroke with a stroke cutter, you know? and then I just place an alpha sheet. It like, like that. You know, see the alpha sheet is the, the one with the uh, the soft round tip on, on top. And after that, I just pull back a little bit the um, the piston, and I come to place this one over. That's the handle of the gun. And here I have a handle for the piston. Everybody is seeing well. Okay, just come here. And I bring the whole lot inside. To the first mark, you see, you see the the gun inside, you know, I don't go that far, I just stay there. And when I'll be inside the cow, I will push, you know, in the ceramics as far as I can, okay, up to here. And when I'm finished, I will push the, this piston here, and that will deliver, this is the, deliver the semen, just after, okay. In the in the meantime, I can I can monitor that on the on 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 the phone, which is just hanging to my neck. Here. Okay, uh, could you show the video, uh, Giri, please? So well, this was done in a in a farm, you know, a 60, 60 cow farm. Cows are tied to the the rail. You, know, you start to see the you see the, the box with everything inside. You know, you have even even the gel. What well, I didn't think. Okay, this is the gel. This is the AI gun. You get two AI gun. You get some alpha sheet with it. Yeah. You know. This is the handle, the green handle for the gun, and the black handle for the piston. You can prepare that in advance. You. Know. You can prepare, if you have two cows, you can prepare two. Here we cut the straw. Load the straw in the gun. And cover with a alpha sheet. And then you make sure that you press a little bit the piston to make sure that you have the piston engaged in the in the straw. And then you insert the whole lot. Come to the cow. Of course, make sure the cow is clean. Uh, we can use now, we use a, as well a, a sanitary sheet to protect the speculum.
as introduced so the, the, the animal doesn't feel as hard as it was. This here, here you see the, the gun just in front of the cervix. You know. And then you push in. And you empty the straw. Then you remove it. Now we have another video on a farmer in Brittany, in the west of France. She has a, this lady has a 130 cows, high producing. She has four people working with her. So she, she, they realize control of postpartum, you know, they want to, to check the cows, just to, to reduce the interval calving, calving. So you can see some metritis here. You know. Here you can see the double cervix. Here you can see some kist, vaginal kist. Here you see the evolution in course. Here you see the good uh, mucus from heat detection. Here she goes. She checks if the cow was ready to AI. So she has a dose. She will do the feeling of the gun. And then she goes. Now she doesn't put her hand inside. And you see she's inside. She's pretty good of the of the results, you know. You know she got a ROI on eight months. You know. Before she was 2.6 AI per cow. Now she's 1.95. And in France, we have uh, 5,000 farmers doing their own AI. So it's, uh, some other people are very happy to the, right, the, the, the fertility results, you know, and as well, uh, it's very easy to use. And the people use with the sex semen as well. And we have a guy dedicated for that in France who can call and visit the people, with the farmers. Okay, let's go back. So, I have a vision, you know. Uh, so, in fact, to have a good conception, you must insert correctly semen into LT uterus, you know. That's why uh, you, you're going to use the alpha vision for, to help you to diagnose this, you know, some reproduction management. And as well, it's, uh, it's very easy and comfortable to use for the animal well-being, welfare as well. Next one. So this is without the alpha vision, since the uh, uh, position you know very well that you have the hand in the rectum, which is not comfortable for the cows, it's not comfortable for the man as well, because after 20 years of that, you're going, you're going to have some some trouble with your muscle in your shoulders, you know, and uh, you have the, on the right hand side, the, the way you do with the alpha vision, you know, you have a, <coughs> it's much easier to do it and you see what you, especially you see what you do. Next one. Okay, uh, so like what to do before ins ins insemination, you know. Uh, <clears throat> the main thing is to check if you have any uh, mitritis or malformity inside, you know. Check for the evolution, you know. Check for the presence of uh, mucus, you know. Of course, you can save the uh, ID of the animal in the, in the mobile phone if you want to. Uh, for the, during the insemination, but it's easy to locate the entrance of the cervix, you know. Uh, you don't do any trauma in the animal, you know. Uh, and after insemination, uh, you just make sure when you remove, you can see when you remove the, the gun from the cervix, if you have no uh, leaks or anything coming up. You know. Next one. So, uh, uh, after postpartum, you know, you have the calving, it, calving is, 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 you can see the, figure on the right, you know, 
you see the you can use the alpha vision for uterine evolution you know? uh, then you can check it for the detection of first as well and then you check it for the decision to breed you know? uh, on the other side you will see on top yeah uh, a good evolution you know, you know? Uh, you see uh, beside that evolution in progress. We should see that it's not completely done. This is a bit too early to AI. Uh, then you have underneath two pictures. One is a mild mitritis, you know, one is a more serious one with a, you can see the white pus coming out. You know? And then on the bottom, you have um, cows in heat, well heat, you know, and uh, which a lot of mucus, and this one is not really on heat, it's kind of dry. You know? Next slide. Next slide. Giri. Okay. Uh, do you see when after calving, you know, the, your uh, uterus is quite, by, quite, quite big, you know, it's, it weighs about 10 kilos, you know, measure one, uh, one meter, you know, and then in a space of 25 days, you know, which is quite uh, very, very fast, you know, the, it will reduce to uh, 25 centimeters to point, uh, but 800 grams, you know, so you can see there on, on the bottom, you know, uh, on the D0 to D7, you know, you will see some blood, some blockies, you know, uh, a lot of uh, some placenta liquid, you know. Then after that, it goes, it, you can see the wrinkles, you know, it's not completely well involved, done, the division is not completely done, you know. Then it starts to D15 to get, to get some, some uh, detectable uh, ceramics, you know, and you get maybe at that time, you might, you might see the first ovulation, you know. Um, then later on, you will see a better, uh, better uh, shape of uh, of a ceramics, and around day 45, day 50, uh, then you have a, a possible insemination at that time, you know, with normal wrinkles and uh, mucus. You know, the last picture. Okay. Okay. So this is a shape of the uterus, you know, at a different stage. You see on D1, just after coming, you see how big it is, you know, uh, you can see nothing really, and then it goes back in this real position in D20, which is fantastic. Uh, you see the, how quick it, it came back. You know. Next one. Uh, but if that is not done correctly, you know, if you have some delay in the uterine evolution, uh, and if you don't monitor it very well uh, to make sure that you are you are able to have one calf per year, that, that will cost you some money. Huh? So you have two figures. Yeah, you have uh, in the case in the beef case and the case in the dairy case on the right. You know, on beef case, you know, if you if you produce one calf per year, it's okay, you know. Uh, but if you have, uh, for your herd, if you have, for example, this cost calculated for 100 cows in your herd, if you have a 10 day, only a 10 day, you know, uh, lost uh, days, you know, you will lose you know, nearly 3,600 3, euros, you know. In the cows, you know, we speak about 11 euros per day of big losses per cow, you know? So imagine if you have a 100 cows herd and you lose um, 11, 11 euro per day, you know, uh, for, uh, for just a 10 days of difference, you know, uh, you, you're going to lose some uh, quite heavy amount of, of money, you know? So with Alpha Vision, you have that, uh, you can monitor exactly uh, the status of your cows, you know? Next one. So yeah, you have uh, as well uh, uh, the detection of uh, mitritis. You, know, uh, you can see that you have different way of mitritis. You have some mild one, but you have as well some serious one. When it's serious, it's really coming out. You, know, you can see uh, in the bush, you know. But sometimes, I mean, uh, it's good to uh, before you going to do AI. You know, you know that or if you have a cow with uh, some difficulties, it's easy for the farmer to go there and to check, you know, and then he can call his vet if something is getting wrong, you know. So, of course, because we don't advise, you know, to, uh, 
it's not recommended to AI when you have a presence of mitritis. So uh, before, if you don't have that, uh, the AI technician was coming, he just put the dose and then he could put his hand back. He found out that he has some mitritis on his, on his um, gun and that's not good. Yeah, you, 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 don't, you, you lost one dose. Next one. Okay, you can see some uh, picture of uh, uterus you know, with a uh, mitritis case, you know, with a serious one on the left, you know, and you can see the when you have mitritis like that, you have a lot of uh, hypervascularity you know, of the uterus. You know, kind of. Next one. So, what are the main causes of mitritis? You know, the main cause you know, are the retail fetal membranes, you know, after calving. You know. Uh, anyway, when you have some assisted calving, you know, difficult calving, when you have twins, when you have induced calving as well, you know, or when you have a day calf or stillbirth, you know. and as well you have some metabolic disorder like uh, milk fever or ketosis, you know, which uh, or deep place as well, uh, that will uh, have a cause of mitritis. Next one. Uh, if you have mitrisis or untreated mitrisis, you know, what uh, you could happen that you, you drop your conception rate you know, of the, from about 10%. You know. and we have seen that with uh, MSD did a, a survey on 1,600 cows in Australia and they come to those figures. You know. So it's very crucial to detect as soon as possible the mitritis case with alpha vision. Next one. Uh, we have a, a product in France called uh, Metricure, you know, uh, I don't do any uh, advertising for them, but uh, we work with them closely and um, we, it's possible to, this product is sold in a syringe, you know, you see the white syringe here, yeah? and that syringe is able to fit inside here, you know, and on top of the syringe you have a tube and the tube fits as well inside the, the gun there, you know. So the farmers they do their own uh, under, under supervision of the vet, but they do their own uh, treatment, you know. So it's very easy when they, they check the cow with alpha vision, they got a mitritis case, they do injection of the product, then they call the vet, you know. Next one, next. Yes. So, uh, speaking about re uh, return on investment, you know, roughly it takes about a year in Europe, you know, uh, with the Alpha Vision, because you know, in you have a number of cases on average of mitritis on, on, on in herd is about 17%, you know, 10 to 25%, you know, about 17%, you know. And uh, so if you have a mitritis that, that will reduce the milk uh, uh, the revenue, so you will lose 70 euro per, 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 per cow, you know, you will lose as well uh, uh, reproduction product, you know, uh, like hormones, you know, uh, you will lose as well some, you make some saving on the cost of the straw, you know, and the saving of the sex, a lot of people are doing you in sex semen, you know, as well, so you make, uh, you make some saving on the, the cost of the semen, sex semen, okay. So roughly for 100 cow herd, the cost of uh, you're going to save with the, my, the alpha vision, it's uh, roughly 3,000 euro, you know. So you make a, an ROI of uh, one year on that. Next one. So, Yes, so you have here yeah, the different um, possibility of uh, using of alpha vision, you see. Here you see uh, on the, what you could see you know, on alpha vision, you see the, some malformation on the first one on the left. You know. Then you see, uh, sometimes you see a membrane, you know, just before the entrance of the cervix. You know. So if the, you don't see it, you, you may not uh, be able to pass it. You know. What you could happen, you could have a double cervix, you know, in some case, you know, that's, that's happened a bit, but 0.5 to 0.8 percent of the cases, you know. Uh, so one is good, one is not, you know. Uh, you have the vaginal kist that could be at the entrance of the cervix or on the side of the cervix, that uh, doesn't help you to, to pass it, you know. And as well, you could have a urovagin, you know, urovagin, you know, is the end where you have get, get urine inside uh, the 
the vagina. Uh, so we don't really advise to AI. If you want to really to, if you want to do AI, you, know, you have to remove the urine with a glove, you know, first, you know, before you do the exhibition. So you don't don't do AI, you know, and that may when you have urine there because you're doing to introduce urine inside the the uterus. Next one. Okay, uh, here you have a good good sign of, uh, of uh, the, the, the wall, what's in a wall, you know, when it's in a stress, you know, it's a very nice picture of uh, what you could see, you know, with a nice uh, blood vessel, you know, uh, and then as well, you get the, the presence of mucus, you know, uh, detectable with alpha vision. Next one. So, uh, Multiple benefits, you know, uh, most of people, you know, we have uh, all the users are really uh, like the product, you know, it's very simple to use, you know, uh, you can accommodate efforts and cows, you know, uh, you make as well, one tool, you make a diagnosis and AI, you know, uh, it's very easy to learn, you know, uh, as well, uh, like you say, the Dr. Sharapuri, uh, it's, it's very important for the, the people who want to train, you know, like in the vet school or in, a, in training school as well, because we train the, the all the farmers are trained for in the school for AI, you know, do it yourself AI, and it's a good tool, good tool for them to, to start with. You know. Okay, next one. We have some uh, testimonial from this this uh, farmer there, uh, and he had uh, before he was doing AI with traditional with a, a, a technician coming on the farm, you know, and he was getting 51%, you know, first AI. Then he did it himself, you know, and he had a drastic experience. We went down to 32%, you know, and then he used the alpha vision. And when he used the alpha vision, because he was AI at the right time. You know, he, has, he got to the first year, he got to 70%, you know. Next one. Okay, and uh, so you have some information, you have some videos, you have some testimonials, you have some flyers, and you have a, a dedicated uh, uh, site. If you want to go to see more videos, you can go to that site and you will see some uh, testimonials from farmers. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Guy. Thank you very much for your crisp and very solid presentation regarding Alpha Vision, a video optic tool for the animal welfare and same time human welfare also. Now uh, we are in the second session, that is the question answer session. And I have seen many questions here. So Guy, these are questions are for you and the, for the panelists also. So I request Dr. Sahat Puri also to be uh, in this question answer session to address a few of the queries from our participants. So this is the uh, information for participants also. Most of the questions we will try to address here. Uh, if time allows within the time limit, we will try to address most of the questions. And uh, I'll try to cl uh, club the questions to uh, cover the maximum one. At the same time, uh, we will address those who are not able to get answered in this session will address their answers, questions in the uh, mail with your individual email ID. So the uh, question here, the first question I would like to ask, yes, but of course the first question is in Indian case, it is a very genial question. That is the, what is the cost in Indian currency? Dr. TK Dixit want to know, I think all every, but you want to know about the cost. Uh, this I would like to uh, address. The, the cost of uh, Indian currency will be around uh, 2.6 lakh as a basic cost without taxes. And, uh, taxes will vary. It depends where you are. If you are in a uh, research organization, then you have a different taxes. If you are in a uh, government organization or the private organization, the taxes will vary. So basic cost of this set of equipment of alpha vision video optic AI gun is uh, 260,000 plus taxes. So this is, I have addressed the Dr. D.K. Dixit question. So this question is for Guy. Where is the preferred is site of deposition of semen with alpha vision? Question from Dr. So you, you 
Yes. So you you try to locate the, the to locate the ceramics, you know. And when you are in when you are in the ceramics, I will get the, the things back here. Okay, like that. Okay. Okay. So you locate the ceramics here, watching your your phone, you know, and then you and you enter you enter the you enter the ceramics with with a, with a gun, you know, and you 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 stay there a little bit, you know. Uh, I say we say one or two minutes, you know. We try to go inside like, like that, you know. Like that, and and if the cow is way in estrus, you will we you, you will pass it, you know. You, you really you feel you feel that the gun is free inside, you know. You will pass it, and you will pass it really easily on about forty percent of the cases, you know. If you don't pass the third, uh, most often is a third ring is more difficult to pass, you know. If you don't, if you can't not pass a third ring, what I would advise is to slide your hand in the cow, you know, grab the grab the cervix there, just lift it a little bit, a little, little, you know, just lift it, you know, then it, it, it goes through, really it goes through. So you you don't stay too long in the, in the cow, you know, just pass your hand, just lift, move, and that's it, you know. But please, Deposit the cow, the semen, as far as you can, just after the cervix. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Guy. The second part of the same participant, the question is, can it be used on smaller breed and buffalo? Smaller breed, I think you want to say that indigenous cows of India. We have indigenous breeds. The size of indigenous breed is small. And buffaloes, of course. Can yes, so... Yeah, I don't have the the latest version really here. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but uh, no, because I have one of my colleagues is working today. But on the on the the speculum here, you know, uh, what we have done, we have put a, a soft tip here, narrow to narrow the entrance. You know, so for, it's much easier to go for like uh, we, uh, we try on a. We try on buffaloes, we try on uh, Bosindicus as well, you know, and it's much easier to get inside there, okay, for the for those cows, you know. But in France, it works perfectly with young heifers, you know, uh, 15, 16 months old, you know, very small one, you know, we, we, can, we, can, we can go through, yeah. no problem, yeah. Okay, thank you, Guy. Uh, one question is from Dr. Sanjay Saha. He want to know, is alpha vision can be used to implant frozen embryos? Frozen embryos? No, no, no. Okay. You, because you don't you, you you don't go far enough for the embryo. You know? the embryo you have to go inside the horn. You, know? you have to go deep in the horn. You know? here, you, you, here you should go after the ceramics. You know? Look, you know if I if I put the, this one here, you know against the against the ceramics, you know, I will not go. You know, if I push the handle fully here, I will have about eight centimeters. It's you know outside here. So, so let's say that the the the, the, the of course the the cervix of the cow is, but it depends. But you know, but that size, you know, depends. But uh, in fact, for the embryo, you must deposit the embryo in the right horn where you have a corpus luteum. You know, so it's not possible to do that with that. Okay, thank you, Geet. Uh, same question, one of the person from, from, from Nepal, uh, Sivnath Mahato, he want to know that can it be able to use uh, for ET? And we have already addressed, yes, it is not able to do for ET. Uh, no. Question from... But, they, they can, but you know, what they can do, they, can, they could check, they could check before, you know, uh, if, if the... If the if the cervix is okay, just things like that, you know, in their cows, you know, when they do the, uh, for the, for the donor cow, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to, to do the AI on the donor cow, yeah, why not? You know, but for uh, embryo transfer, no, no. Okay, 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 great. Thank you. Uh, one anonymous, anonymous uh, attendee want to know, is there uh, any technique for identifying biometra? Uh, by, by he's, he's writing that biometra by palpation of uterus, but I would like to request uh, uh, identify of biometra with respect to alpha vision. Can you, can you answer this? No, biometra, no, I, I don't know. It's just, 
Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I mean, you just you, you can, it's only a camera. Huh? You just check what you see, you know, really. You know? Okay, it's a, it's a scope. Huh? You, know? you can uh, diagnose. You can diagnose. You can diagnose. You can diagnose. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So that is yeah. why this is a diagnosis. It's, it's tool. A, yeah, it's, it's a, a tool for the farmer. It's a tool for the farmer, and then he, he calls his vet when he, he see he see a problem. You. Know? Okay. Yeah. Uh, question from Dr. Mahmoud Ahmed. You want to know is there any data study available for the comparison of efficacy of normal AI gun and alpha vision technology? Yes, we have done some study. You know, in uh, uh, we have done some study uh, in uh, Venezuela. You know, at the beginning, you know, on uh, with out and with um, the uh, alpha vision, and there was no difference in pregnancy. Not at all. Not at all. Okay, great. So uh, there is no difference in pregnancy. Plus, on top of that, as we have already conveyed that it is the best tool for the diagnosis. So once you diagnose yeah. the problems, then you can do the treatment also. You can, yeah. As well, you see, you see, we have uh, today we have uh, roughly 150 to 160, I think 160 farmers in France. You know. And all those farmers, all of them, they have increased their fertility rate, you know, okay. compared to what they were doing, you know, you know. Uh, because, yeah. they, because in fact, there is no difference for the AI. The only thing, they, 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 they are more precise for the timing of AI, you know. Okay. Okay. You know? Thank you, Guy. Uh, there is one question. I'll, uh, I'll throw it to Dr. Sahat Pure. Dr. Sahat Pure, uh, please tell, as per your experience, this alpha vision, how far it is uh, good for Indian condition? As far as Indian condition is concerned, particularly those uh, orga well, well organized form, they can improve their because in generally till uh, in India, conception rate is only 30%. So we can improve the conception rate by using this. At least I request the farmers, particularly well organized farmer, to use this equipment so that they will diagnose. There, whether the animal is properly in stress or not. Sometimes there is pyometra, sometimes there is metritis yeah, cases, yeah. and that can be immediately uh, ruled out, yeah. and we can save the cement doses as well. And there, even there are some um, deformities in the uterus, uh, cervix. Sometimes this is vaginal cyst is there, double cervix case is there, membrane before cervix is there, in no evolution. So particularly in that case, it is very helpful. And again, I request uh, uh, particularly, particularly in the Department of Gynecology uh, uh, of the Uri College, they should purchase so that they can train their final year student, particularly yes. gynecology yes. student, for uh, uh, how to uh, inseminate animal properly without any uh, uh, any uh, techniques called any without any difficulty, so that they can train very well with the help of this alpha vision. Thank you, Dr. Sathpuri. It's a wonderful information that, yes, of course, this is a very uh, fantastic tool to identify the problem inside. It's a video optic. You can get the things outside so that you can make a good decision accordingly. And there are a few friends. Uh, one of is Dr. Muti Rahman from Bangladesh and uh, Sajid Iqbal from Pakistan. Uh, these friends, they want to know the rate in their local currency. So I would like to convey them that uh, in local currency, we have a distributor, it will vary. So what I told you, 2.6 lakh rupees in, in Indian currency for the Indian clients, it was that. So for your specific country, it may vary as per the currency exchange. So this is what I addressed to him. And uh, one question is from Sadia. Sadia want to know this video optic tool, Alpha Vision, is it helpful to do deep uterine insemination? This is for you, Guy. This question is for you, Guy. No, no, you cannot deep uterine. You, you, no, no, it will not. It will help you to just to look at it, the service, you know, but you're, you're, not, you're not going to do deep, deep AI. No, no, is it? No. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And there are a few many questions. And just uh, uh, I'm yes, okay, I can see the question. Uh, Can it sir? I have one question. Can it possible to deposit semen in body epitoris with this alpha vision? In body epitoris? Body epitoris. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, if you, uh, 
if you have a small body of hair, <laughs> so yes, you have this, the sinus is that long. Yeah. Yes. So, so that's all you got. That's all you get. Yeah. Yes, yes. But this is made for that. You have to after the cervix, you know, in the body. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is uh, one more question from one anonymous attendee again. Uh, you want to know that does uterine or vaginal discharge hamper the visual quality? I like don't get the question. Does uterine or vaginal discharge yes will uh, create any problem for the visual quality of alpha vision? No, I mean uh, the thing is, you know, uh, when you have a, a lot of mucus, that could happen. You know, you have a, a very nice cow because she got a lot of mucus. You know, the thing that you can, the mucus you can remove it. You know, yeah, through the you have here. A hole inside, you know? yeah. And the mucus will go this way, you know? move, remove. If not, you can as well uh, walk like that, you know, get that inside the cow, just scrape it, remove it like that, you know, and you remove a lot of mucus with the speculum itself. Yeah. Yeah. Then you re replace it. No, it's not, it's not, it's not an issue. It's really easy to, it's really easy to, to remove the mucus with, with a tool. That's not an issue. Okay. Uh, Dr. Amit Sarma, he want to know from you, what is the acceptance level of alpha vision in other European countries apart from France with respect to conception rate variation? Yeah, uh, for the conception rate, I mean, they, they, they all accept it, you know. I mean, uh, most customers are farmers, you know. So we sold a few uh, a bit everywhere. I will say, I will say uh, in, in Italy, we sold some in Spain as well. Some in Germany, we have some in Ireland and England as well. Uh, that sits for Europe. Then the rest of it has been to Africa or in, and uh, China. Yeah. So we are having wonderful experience in all part of the major markets of the uh, global arena. And uh, at the South Korea, I would like to request you be in the screen. There is, uh, I have one more question for you, Dr. South Korea. Okay, I'll wait for him. And I yes, sir. Yeah, okay. that's a, uh, I, uh, I have a question for you for the Indian condition. See, with the GIS presentation, what we have make out that this special tool, video optic alpha vision kit or alpha vision tool, AI tool is, uh, is more for the diagnostic purpose. You can diagnose uh, the problems inside like metritis, pyometra, involution of uterus condition and uh, you can make out the exact timing of heat also. So I think uh, if there is any problem, you will make uh, treatment also. This is what we can get a take home message from the GIS presentation. And on, but of course, it's a wonderful scientific tool, scientific tool for uh, uh, judicial AI, welfare for animal, welfare for human also. But what is your opinion if we say that this is a diagnostic tool more, yes, rather than AI, this is a diagnostic tool also. How much it will be a complementary in the field cognition with respect to the ultrasound pregnancy diagnosis? How much it will be the complementary to the uh, PD with ultrasound diagnosis? Uh, particularly, it will not help in the pregnancy diagnosis as like a uh, ultrasound. But it will be, uh, easily detect uh, discharge type, whether the is open or not, we can diagnose. So that we can inseminate at the proper time. So that naturally there will be improve in the conception rate. This way it will be helped. And is there any difficulty like double service is there? It can immediately be diagnosed. So it cannot replace uh, ultrasound. Ultrasound has its own merits. And uh, this alpha vision has their own another merit. Particularly it's helpful. Artificial insemination uh, to improve better conception rate. And the power, particularly uh, any uh, any infection in the reproductive tract, any deformities in the reproductive tract, or in proper either whether the complete ovulation is there or not, that can be diagnosed with the help of this alpha. Okay, thank you, Daksa, for telling us that. Yes, of course, it is not a uh, replacement of uh, ultrasound. Ultrasound no. will be for the. It's complementary. It's, com it's a yeah. complementary. It will Good. add value. And it will, yes, definitely tell you uh, the exact situation so that you can make a right decision. 
thank you dr satpuri for your wonderful sessions and information Gary, I want to reply to Dr. Redmi. He asked me, uh, "Does it require sterilization?" You, know? uh, yes. What we do, what we do uh, between two cows, you, know, you, you can remove the speculum, use the next one, keep clean. If you have three cows to do, you can you can wash it. You, know? but we, uh, you wash it with uh, warm water, hot water, uh, not hot water, warm water. You. Know? Uh, don't go over 60 degrees, you know, and you can spray uh, some alcohol to disinfect you. Know. As well, we recommend uh, to use uh, the sheet over to protect in between two cows. You know. There is a disposable sheet, sanitary sheet to use uh, on, on, the, on the gun. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Guy. And uh, one technical question from Sadia. We want to know that uh, catching the question is it helpful for detection of torsion and its degree of what detection of what detection of torsion? Mm, I don't see. I don't. I don't understand. He is asking about uterine torsion. Uterine torsion. I. I, I don't know. <laughs> Never try. <laughs> um, I'm sure you will see that you don't see any ceramics, you know. So you will, uh, yeah, you could see. Uh, yeah, you, I see. You should, you should, you should see. That's something wrong. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it will, be, it will be. Ah, sure, sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. See, uh, there are many other questions also uh, because of time constraint. So we will try to wrap up and and. Uh, in time, I would like to request all the participants that they must have received the uh, feedback form from Dr. What Martin? I forgot to say, what I forgot yeah, to yeah, say, please, uh, please, please. Yeah, just to say, you know, uh, the, good, the good thing as well from the, 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 the mobile phone is you can make a video or you can make a photo, you know, of what you see to, and send to your vet. You know, and the vet could go there and uh, can check, uh, tell him, uh, be careful, I'm coming, or do that or that treatment as well. You know? okay. Finally, there is one question, uh, very good question, that uh, they want to know that whether we can provide them, as IMB India, whether we can provide them uh, the training uh, in the field condition. So for them, I would like to convey that, yes, we can provide training, uh, live training, annual training also, because we have many users, successful users in different veterinary colleges and research institutes. So we can take you there and you can have a live training also. And we have a tutorial, yes. demo tutorials also. Yes, definitely we'll help you to use that. Yes. Sure. Yes. Now, and, and uh, when, uh, yes, yes, please. And when, and, when, and when the time comes where uh, we'll be able to travel, I could come there and do the training if you want to. Yeah, I would like to convey that he has a pre-defined uh, agenda of visiting India and uh, Nepal, but uh, he's not able to come because of Purana. So once the Purana is out, uh, Guy is here and two of the, our colleagues yeah. and friends will definitely see him. So thank you, Guy. Thank you for your presentation. I would like to request uh, Dr. Party uh, to convey a uh, vote of thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Gigi, for Thank your you, excellent presentation on Thank the you, oriented topic of artificial insemination and deformities of the different parts of reproductive tract, which we can diagnose with the help of your instrument. Thank you very much for your excellent presentation, sir. We are thankful to Dr. A. Paturkar, sir, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Maharashtra Animal and Fishery Sciences University, Nagpur, for his wholehearted contribution in the organization of such seminar from time to time. We are thankful. Dr. A.P. Somkur, sir, Dean, Faculty of Veterinary Science and Directorate of Instruction, Mapsu Nagpur. Dr. N. V. Kurkure, sir, Directorate of Research, Mapsu Nagpur. Dr. B. D. Ahir, sir, Do Exchange Director of Extension, Mapsu Nagpur. Dr. S. B. Kavitkar, sir, Associate Dean, Nagpur Veterinary College, Nagpur, for their constant encouragement in the organization of such activities from time to time. We are thankful to all the IMV India team, as well as team Fra IMV France team, for their wholehearted contribution and organization of this seminar. We are thankful to all the participants for their patient hearing and, invite, and the, their contribution by asking the questions in this seminar. 
thank you sir thank you very much tomorrow 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 declared tomorrow our webinar on opu and ivf in bovine will be conducted at 4 o'clock in the evening so all the participants are requested to kindly join tomorrow's webinar thank you thank you thank you very much thank bye. you once again all the panelists all the participants have a nice day bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.